Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to get the Mac App Store on 10.5.8 Leopard. This is only for Mac. And first I'll prove that it's an Apple computer. Yes. Alright, and then I'll prove that it's Leopard. Ten point five point eight. Okay. So what you do is you go into Safari. You go to Google and you search Mac App Store ten point five point. Insert it. Okay. Um. Uh, I need to find which one it is. All right, there it is. No, no, never mind. I said it. No, where the heck is it? I saw it before. Oh, here it is, this one. Alright, here it is, this one. Found it. Alright. And over here. Alright, so download, it says download down there. And that little red thing down there. And you hit download, and then you just wait for download. I've already downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it again. And uh, which then you just basically download your apps. So yeah, that's it. And I'll prove that it works. As you can see, it's I'm playing Angry Birds on my Mac, and um, and I can it plays fine. The only thing is, it's in a different language, but that doesn't really affect the game at all, it just says stuff. And you can choose which level you want, and then yeah, it just brings everything up. I'll, s I'll show you that it plays fine. Yeah, this is the only free Angry Birds that was on this Mac app store that I had downloaded. Alright, they like this. Yeah? You are not. See, it plays fine. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, my else? See, that pops up. It just says that. And you can go right into the next level. Alright, and then, um, what else do I have? I also have Parts of the Zombies, which I downloaded from there, which starts right up too. See, the mouse becomes bigger. And right now you can sort of hear the sound of Parts of the Zombies. Just wait for the download. Just wait for it. This just takes a little bit to start up that download. It was actually really fast. You, just, you download it and then you drag it to applications. It becomes an application. Angry Birds. You just download it, install it, and it's an application. This is my MacBook, by the way. It is pretty. It is pretty slow to start up, though. So if you're patient, you can deal with it. I am pretty patient. Just in a video, I'm not. I want the video over with. Alright, see? This is zombies. Start. This one is in English. But it's sort of slow. 
It's even the one where you can make your own zombie and all that. See? Yep. Then just to get out of full screen and all that, you have to hit ASC if you want to quit the whole thing to quit. Um, let's see now, what else did I get? I also got Keynote from there. Just a little bit slow. Why is that when I'm making a video, this thing's slow? This thing's usually really fast. See? Keynote. And I don't know why I'll just choose industrial. Because I've been using that one. As you can see, it's loading it right up. Anytime now. Well, I also got. I'm not really just gonna see. Keynote starts right up. So does numbers and. Um, so does numbers and pages. Uh, numbers just comes up bigger than it's supposed to be. But as you can see, yeah, you can see Keynote, numbers, pages. And I also got iMovie, which starts up perfectly. See, loading iApp will help you. It just takes a little bit to load it. I also got many other apps, but I'm just making a video on stuff that people probably want to get. But yeah, see, it edits videos pretty good. This is a video I already have on YouTube. That's right, it's a video I already have up. It edits videos just fine. And you can even, it even has this, which that was free. It's an older iMovie, so. And, yeah, that's, that's how you um, get the, that's how you get the Mac App Store on um, Leopard 10.5.8. Peace. This is the, this is iApple help you.